In the last Winter Marble League, the fourth event was also bobsled, and we're back with a different track, a slightly different setup for the bobsled, and a new Winter Marble League. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. The Oceanics lead the standings, but still, a couple of events to go. It's all up for grabs among the top of the table. How will it shake out? We want to take you back to an incident when they first started testing for this event. This was a while back when some designated tester marbles actually rolled the bobsled, came out of it, and plummeted down the course. This was during the testing phase that the committee was attempting to figure out which bobsled configuration would work best. The marbles that were in it had quite a ride down this icy chute. Bobsled didn't even make it all the way down. One of the testing marbles did have an injury. They brought in a reserve and were able to rerun this test. They actually figured out by the end of the day that if they flipped the bobsled over, then they could have a successful run. So here's a taste of what you will see when the competition gets underway. A long, twisty, almost 180 degree, more than that, left-hander, and a run down toward the line before arriving safely in the finishing area. A little soft cushion there to break the fall. Now, for the actual competition, which will be run in reverse standings order. So the Oceanics, which are at the top of the overall championship, will run last. We start off with Balls of Chaos. And down they go. This will set the first time the track record, a 6-5-8-8. A little bit slow through that middle section across the line here for a 7-3-1-1. This event doesn't have a Marble League record, but there is a track record, as we said. This was set, by the way, back in 2016 by the Gliding Glaciers. Otherwise, this track and the bobsled have evolved separately over time. Chuck the Tears in the second run. Possibly quicker out of the gate here. Around the sharp left-hander. They keep it fairly low on the track. A slight bump off the wall, and that slowed them down. They were a little bit timid through this turn right here. They could have gone higher up on the wall if they wanted to, and that led to a wobble in the middle of the exit that desperately slowed them down. They were hoping to get moving, but not there. Now the Snowballs, a team that finished seventh in this event back in 2018. They're a little less timid up on the high parts of the track. How do they do in the exit and the run down? Not quick enough. They do break the eight second mark and move into second place. We saw that tail stepping out on that descent just before the loop. And the Snowballs, hoping to have a good finish here in a winter marble league, you would think. The new look, Pinkies, led by the captain up front. Aggressive out of the gate. Will that pay off farther down? They go a little higher on the wall. Cleaner down through the bottom part of the course. Ooh, 26 thousandths off. They almost got it done. The Pinkies move up into second place. They finished ninth in this event back in 2018. Very different track back then. You notice in this run, Quasar, who's a reserve, in the bobsled. Sometimes coaches use that to see how they will, in the winter special, they use it as a, a tryout of sorts to how they're going to do in the main run when we get to the Summer Marble League. A third place run for Team Galactic here with Quasar in the sled. What do the Orangers have? This is on the main team. Captain up front as well. High into the first turn. High into the second turn before the loop. Down they come in the bottom part, they're weaving around, and they got it done! A new track record! And I would say Orangin, who's in the lineup here, has to feel pretty happy with that. As does the captain. That puts them in the first place. You can just see the sled gliding on the edge of adhesion as they work through and reset the run to beat. The Midnight Wisps come out now with their captain actually in the second spot, not steering. Down they come, oh, that is well off of the time. You know, earlier on in this event, I would have said a mid seven second run, not too bad. But the Arrangers are proving me wrong. Coming up now, at the midway point, the Savage Speeders. They were down in 13th in this event before. Ooh, banging off the walls in this sled, getting a little out of sorts through the loop. Can they get it together in the bottom part of the course? No, not quite. They do go low sevens. It's good enough for second place, actually which is saying something for that record-setting run. The O'Rangers have crafted some magic here on the bobsled. This is a 
course, a four marble bobsled. Different variants all around the world, but the Marble League opting for the more popular four marble. Here's a marble eye view from the bobsled as they work down this course. You can hear the clattering of those rails on the bottom of the ice. And boy, that, uh, that plus sign down there, the medical tent, is a welcome sight after how jarring the upper portions of this course are. Until you actually run in it, it's tough to see how vertical it is and how much of a drop these marbles go through in the first couple of turns alone. Here are the Minty Maniacs now. How are they doing? They come low through the loop, but they keep it decently clean. Oh, they break the seven second mark. Good enough for second place. Minty Flav in the second spot, tucked down in the draft. Ooh, they did get a little antsy coming in that final turn. Can't let up until you are across the line. Minty Maniacs in trying to improve on an 11th place finish back in 2018. Run 10 of 16 now is the Green Ducks. Mallard all the way back in the third spot. It'll be Billy steering up front. Quacky on the break as they come around the loop. Decently clean out of the final turn, but they'd lost some time earlier. And they wobbled after the turn two. Oh, look at how sideways the sled was as they headed into the left-hander. Green Ducks, of course, not competing back in 2018. Raspberry Racers were. They finished just off the podium. What can they do with Razzie in second spot? The captain, Rizzy, steering around the turn slow on the exit, and they pitch sideways coming across the line. They just could not keep this sled under control. Slow out of that turn. They go wide on the apex. They're trying to correct it, and at that point, you've got a snake developing. While you're trying to break also before you careen into that soft spot, not good. Mimo taking the place of Momo Mo, who has altitude sickness, kind of the same as in 2018, if you remember that. What can Momo do here? Ooh, hard out of that turn, they get within a half a second. But they bang that exit on the wall. Also sideways and a bit of a tail slide entering the left hand loop. And there's that hard hit against the wall on the exit of the final turn. Crazy Cat's Eyes, also an interesting different lineup. Cyan Eye instead of Green Eye in this one. Cat's Eyes were sixth a few years ago. How level are they coming into the loop? They look decent through there. Coming out of it across the line, ooh, not good. 11th place, oh look at the sideways slide before they entered that right hander even. They were moving up the wall heading into the loop, slow on the exit out of it. That was not good for Crazy Cat's Eyes. I have to wonder on some of these personnel changes if they're rethinking them. Hazers, they're sticking to what works. Captain up front, aggressive into the first turn. A little tail slide coming into the loop. As they come out of it, slow through the final turn across the line, a second down. Oh man, the Hazers. 14th back in 2018, they're so far ninth thus far. So heading into the standings here with just a couple of runs to go, that means the O'Rangers are going to be guaranteed a medal. Captain of the Thunderbolt sitting in the third spot. They won this event back in 2018. Can they repeat gold in the 2020 Winter Marble League across the line? No. Within a second, they may finish in the top 10. In fact, they will with just one runner to go. But they could not repeat their performance from a few years back. And now our championship leaders, the Oceanics, with C steering, shore on the break. Ocean in between in the third spot behind Aqua. 6-5-4-1 is the time that they're chasing. Can they get gold and continue to stretch their lead? No, they can't, but it's good enough for a bronze. The Oceanics will finish in third, but that means that with a new track record, the O-Rangers are gold medalists in the bobsled. Maniacs with a strong finish. A little under a quarter of a second back. From the Oceanics in third. Green Ducks just miss out on the podium. But there will be O's echoing tonight as the O-Rangers stand triumphant after the bobsled. This is one of my favorite events, and I think it's the O-Rangers as well. They move up seven spots in the standings, the top three have not moved. The lead has stretched, however, for the Oceanics after a disappointing finish 
from the Thunderbolts, the next and final event of the Marble League is ice hockey. Subscribe and stay tuned to see who wins it all.